Hey guys, today let us see what is synthetic key and how to resolve synthetic keys in Click. Let me load a sample data set. So I have these two uh, sample data. So <clears throat> one is the product and category dimension. I have product ID, product name, uh, category name and category ID. And I have a uh, sales for that. Okay. So if you could see, I have the same set of columns over here as well. The category ID, product ID, category and product getting repeated. Okay. So now let's quickly reload this. Let's have a look. Before that, I'll give some name to these tables. Let me call this as a dimension table. And this has my this is my fact. As we know, uh, click forms association based on the column name, right? So it looks for the uh, columns with similar names so it finds a match category ID with this and product ID with this so automatically it's going to create association on all these four columns right and that is what we call it as synthetic key okay so let's quickly reload this and let's have a look how uh, uh, click understands this and how it treats the synthetic keys internally okay so let's look uh, let's have a quick preview of it okay so as expected these two tables are linked or associated based on four different columns okay which has got the same names right now if you this is what we see is the source table view i mean like how we understand the data but there is an one more view called internal table view which tells us how click treats or how click handles this data right so what if you see we have this fact and dimension and we have these four different columns so basically these two tables are joined based on four fields right so so what click does is it creates a synthetic key okay it's a, it's a kind of com composite key on the combination of all these four different fields so it combines product id product category and category id and forms a single synthetic key okay and that key is linked used to link the dimension and fact so this is how click automatically handles the synthetic key okay so now if you ask whether is synthetic key a strict no i would say no i mean we can still have synthetic keys depending upon the requirement there are cases where we need uh, two tables to be joined on multiple keys right so we need synthetic key but should we leave it as such then i would say no okay see rather than leaving it as such and allowing click to uh, form its own synthetic key so we can help click by creating our own synthetic keys right we can uh, i mean composite keys so we will can convert the synthetic key into composite key thereby reducing the load on the click so it doesn't have to automatically create the synthetic key and we can um, save performance and memory right so if there is a really a need for a synthetic key then we have to <clears throat> convert that into a composite key or or if it is really not required then we have to solve it okay and that's what we are going to see now so if now let's assume i don't need uh, the relationship on four fields so i have the sales table and i am interested only in joining at product level okay so i don't want the association at uh, uh, category so one approach is I can simply comment out the fields which is not required. Okay, so so I so I need the relationship based on product ID. So I'm leaving product ID as such. This category I'm going to rename. Okay, so I'll say category dim and prod dim. Okay, now the only common field between these two tables is product ID. So, so this is one way of resolving synthetic key. So I can comment out unwanted fields and I can rename other fields which I want to rename. Okay, so let's quickly reload this. Okay, so, so as expected the relationship is based on product ID now. Okay, so this is uh, we have covered actually two approaches over here. One is um, commenting unwanted fields and then renaming the other fields but there are cases where we cannot comment out we would still need those fields to be present 
right and in such cases one approach is like how we did no so we can go and rename all these fields but what if the number of fields are more right so we cannot rename each and every field and that's going to be a tedious task right and that is where we can we have this function called qualify okay so which automatically does this job for us and which qualifies the all the fields right so let's say qualify star so what this function is going to do is it's going to append the table name as a prefix before the field name the column name so this column name is going to be dim dot product field dim dot product this is going to be fact dot category id fact dot product id etc so so when i say qualify star until i say unqualify star it is going to be applied okay so i'm not going to specify unqualify i'm just going to leave as it so qualify is going to get applied for all this following uh, scripts okay so always a better best practice to use unqualify to avoid this effect of qualify on other uh, scripts okay so let me say unqualify here but now here i'm saying qualify star and i also say unqualify this field alone okay so leave this field as such because i want the relationship between these two tables based on product id the remaining you can qualify okay but that's the instruction we are passing so qualify everything except this field okay now let me quickly reload this so now two things has happened right so one is the product id is left uh, as such so the link is happening on product id the next thing is as you notice there is a prefix right table name dot column name so fact dot dim dot so in that way the names are all unique now and there is no more association so it, it is only on the product id so this is one approach of um, solving synthetic keys if the number of fields are more in both the tables right so rather than going and renaming it manually we can use qualify function so this is one approach another so we already saw renaming uh, the, i mean the alias names or commenting out unwanted fields and we also saw qualify the final thing is <clears throat> let's say we really want uh, a join to be based on two fields like how we discussed earlier so okay so let me rename this as dim prod and dim category so these two are different now but these two are still identical right so product id and category id has got a match here product id and uh, category id so let me quickly reload this so as we saw earlier it is going to form a synthetic key and click is automatically going to handle that by creating a synthetic key uh, or a composite key uh, based on these two combinations right product id and category id and this is my source view so obviously the link is going to be based on two fields now rather than uh, allowing click to handle this so we will create our own composite key so that we save the performance and memory right so we'll we we'll reduce the load on the click at the same time we will still re retain a composite key relationship between these two tables okay so let's create a composite key out of it so what we need is a combination of product id and category id okay so what we can do so product id okay so what we do is we concatenate these two fields product id and category id as a key okay so this is going to be my composite key so let me do the same over here as well <coughs> and now i'll re <coughs> i'll remove these two i don't need this anymore since i have a composite key so whatever selections i am going to make in the dimension is going to pass through this composite key to the fact table okay so now i have this key created which is a combination of these two it's a composite key right so let's quickly reload this okay. 
let's quickly look have a preview of it so so if you could see this key is a combination of uh, my category and product right see um, uh, yeah so same here right so it's a combination of uh, these two ids so since this key is already numeric we are good okay with this approach if not let's assume this composite key is going to be based out of my category and product which are actually string right so if i create a composite key based on these two string fields category product category okay so now i have uh, i mean this is not an ideal scenario but just to explain uh, the concept right so i'm going with some string field so product and category as a combination i'm creating a composite key and same here as well okay now quickly look at the content of this composite key so now as you could see this composite key is a string right so depending upon the fields or the length of the string this key is going to grow right and obviously we know the string is going to occupy more memory compared to a number so right now it is two fields and we see a string and if the num composite key can be of multiple fields as well so as it increases in real time we could end up with 10 or 12 fields as well so in such cases it's not a best practice to have a string as a composite key so to save memory and performance we can convert this string into a number so that is where this auto number helps us so you can go with an auto number or if you want more number of hashes on the length of the string then you can go for 128 or 256 but i will stick to simple auto number for time being so we'll use auto number to convert this entire string into a unique number okay so in that way i am converting uh, this and i'm uh, string into number which is going to uh, give me a better performance right and it's going to occupy less uh, memory of bytes as well yeah so now you could see every string has got its own equivalent numbers which is always a best practice to go with so every time we create a composite key make sure we use this auto number functionality to convert that string into a number so hope so far we are clear with the concepts of synthetic keys what is synthetic key and how to resolve it is it bad to have a synthetic key or is it good if required how to have synthetic key and what is the purpose of composite key right so please do let me know in the comment section for any clarifications thanks for watching